Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to XDF Records for September. We are rapidly approaching XDWC, so definitely check that out. Uh, I don't think there's any much more news than just check out XDWC. The links will be in the description below. We've had a great month this month. So, yeah, we've got Goblin up at the top with 49. Wally West with 26, despite mostly playing uh, unaccounted. As do with 20, Riffo with 16, Vert with 10, Mui with 10, Amino with 9, Source with 9, Amnesia with 6, Woe with 5, Phase with 4, JH with 4, Straight with 4, Knight with 3, Akimali with 2, Banana with 2, Sauna Enjoyed, Flash Frosty with 2, WHT with 2, 5 with 1, we have 5e, Dez, Lundra, Malice, Rue, Shiro, Silni, Gibbs, and Woodjizza. 192 total records. Over here, 192 records, 113 videos, 143 unique maps, and 27 unique players. So a pretty good month as we head down towards XCWC, which is 20th of October, for those who don't remember. So I did, I think I made the claim last month that Goblin would be top this month. He is not quite less than 10 points away uh, at the end of September from taking Source. Both players have been playing a reasonable amount. Goblin quite a bit more. But yeah, smashed it up to plus eight places. Putting everyone eight places below down. Mostly people staying in place. Uh, we had Nature losing two places, but Deadfast and Asju moved up a place, doing fantastically. Asju playing uh, really great. And then Ash has moved up a place, swapping with Straight. Shiro staying at the bottom of the top 20. Uh, nobody in or out of the top 20 this month. Over on HP, we have got Riffo and Vert staying the same. Cool smashing up a nice 40 points in five places, dropping a bunch of people down. Banano, who we are about to see why he has just stepped up into the top 20. But Banano is up into the top 20 on HP. I can't remember who he knocked out. But yeah. A great month for HP as you are about to see. We've got quite a few records that are special, extra special records. So we shall get into those. With the first one, the most important one. Banano has hit. Thank you for the bless RNG. <laughs> Banana has hit just jump three. So here we go. Let us take a look at this phenomenal record. First of the month. So yeah, Banana has been going for this for a few weeks. Uh, it did take him a while. I did ask him some questions, so we will get into those as we go through. But I need to check when this record was set first. This record was set on the 17th of September. Banano had been going for it throughout uh, a little bit of... What's the one before set? August. And it's it's a fantastic map. I mean, it's the first sub-8. It beats um, Amino's best offline. Because we did know Amino had some offline times. So we did double check. It does beat Amino's best offline time. Amino is not going back for this for a little while either, which is incredible. I expected him to come straight back with this one. But I did ask Banano a few questions. Uh, what made Just Jump 3 kind of this long fight? Because it was a back and forth between Banano and uh, Amino and a couple of other players. And I might do a long uh, a video if I can be bothered editing and checking it out and looking at the differences between Banano and Amino's runs. And Banano said, generally likes these endurance type maps, which aren't, aren't too hard, but have difficult tricks. And the, the difficulty for this, for sure, like quite a lot of players could do each individual part of this and probably complete this, but doing it all back to back with no mistakes uh, is incredible. I mean, it's so smooth. Remembering this whole run, like, this whole run is sort of 
half as long as quite a lot of full game speedruns in the defrag era type of thing. So you think uh, the Quake Quake easy run is uh, 11 minutes world record. Doom 2 is uh, 20 minutes for the world record. So this is about half as long as a boomer shooter full game run. You know? So it's insane. You improve a lot when you just don't have to minimise the minimum time between failures. You don't have to be a top tier strafe god. Which does make sense. You know, optimising general rather than optimising specific. I say what the hard hardest parts. The last section of the map is the hardest part. So we'll definitely get to that when we get to it. The first blue, which is where we're in... We've just passed it, actually, the previous section with the hexagons. That's apparently very difficult because it's not the right spacing. It's very difficult spacing, apparently. Uh, because it's strafe pads, it's something I've noticed from these sections. The slicks tend to be the easiest ones because you can much easier control your speed on slick. You can and control the spacing. So if you've got the right speed to get across the pad, you don't do anything. You just jump when you need to and just time the jumping. The second orange section, uh, that is huge room where we have to get to that section just right so you land on the edge and have 200 speed. We are still yet to get to the orange section, we're currently in yellow, I think. And the second to last cyan, it's just hard. Small pre-run, tiny twitches, yeah, I think that is um, some posts, or like beams rather. Fallen over posts. How long do you expect before Amino comes back? We now have an answer to that, and they said he'll be back soon enough. Um, but until then, Banano is going for Climb World. So yeah, we'll see see how that's going at some point, I'm sure. Uh, he has been going for it on and off. It's a big grind, you know, it's a very big grind. We've obviously got XDWC coming up, so I expect things to calm down a little bit. This is incredible. This is, I believe, the first orange section, so potentially this is the second orange section. Yeah, so that, this is... I'm not sure. Potentially it was that second orange section. And, uh... Do you think the name is false advertising because it's a very slick, heavy map and you don't just jump? Was my final question. And he said yes, yes, it's uh, false advertising being just jump, but majorly slick. So, yeah, let's continue watching and try and have a look at what's going on. I did take a bit of a look at Amino's last record on this, and so far I can't really... It's difficult without very much side-by-side side comparing, I don't think I'd be able to spot many differences. I can't quite remember where Amino failed, because uh, I believe this is a clean run. But in general, I mean, it, it's it's a very clean run with very few mistakes. And... It runs through smoothly. Like, Banano's just got everything down. This. This is where I would say is the beginning of optimization for this map. You're now at a point where records don't just come, I mean, I'm going to say easily, but I mean, it's not easy to just complete this map. But now you've actually got to optimize things rather than just not fucking up. It's no longer good enough to just do it well. You have to do it better. You know, so that's that's something. Oh yeah, failing and still getting world record is a power move, but on like you can see why people would be failing on this sort of map, can't you? You know, falling off of these edges here and f uh, and missing certain sections. It's it's definitely possible. Fortunately, most of the fails so we slowly saw fails go from the start of a uh, at the end of a section to the start of a section. Which makes much more sense because of how this map's structured. That the start of a section kind of sets you up for the rest. And once you've started it, you're good. But 
One of the things I found interesting with Banano's run, Amino does a lot of offline runs for some reason, but also um, he he prepares in the single segment things. So we've got each of these sort of purples. Oh, this is the final hot, difficult purple, by the way. This section here. Just so insane, because you have to strafe pretty much perfectly and then get all the speed to get around, bring it all back. Please don't landing bug or slick bug. And then here, I think this is the trickiest bit. This is definitely a bit we've seen. I know Banano's fallen off and failed this uh, on world record pace and failed it so many times that he didn't get world record. And then to get the step up at the end there, insane. Absolutely mad run. Let's back up through there and find some of these difficult parts. So let's find this first blue part. We start in green. Here we go. So this first blue part, because each pad, you can end up jumping too far. Like, see how he's very much right on the edge and he's not even full strafing? But you've got to because then it gets longer towards the end. It's quite a weird layout that you're sort of almost over jumping it, but then you have to under jump it. Let's see if we can find this orange now. So this is the orange section, so second orange, I think there is only one, but I'm going to say it's this bit, which, yeah, you get that runway, but you have to get, it's, it's a lot of speed you have to get, and it's a difficult runway to get up there, but this is an insane record, you know, and then the end here, to float up there and you, you know you're just trying to minimize airtime but it's difficult to minimize it and to get make sure that you've got enough speed it's better to have too much speed and to be able to slow down or take a long line through here because you've got to have so much speed and he's got to strafe pretty damn well and then boom get it absolutely legendary banana phenomenal strafing phenomenal work and here's some pretty good runs. So I got a pretty good run on this map, so I wanted to see and show you what Goblin did. He absolutely destroyed the record with a new route. He's coming through here, 200 units a second faster than most others. Absolutely flying. Gets through here. And then I... Oh, he's not quite straight to the finish, but absolutely massive PB when he got it, because he was trying so many different routes to try and push that. Here we have a comparison on our share baby, uh, a 2009 from Cool, which is an absolutely monumental record. You can't do the shortcut there, by the way, because of a checkpoint, just before anybody uh, tries to do it. But then you want to land super low on this. And now we get to compare with Goblin's run on the same map, set a week or so later 20.01 so not quite getting the sub 20 but it's an insane I mean 0 0.08 on this map is a phenomenal difference but just the cleanness of strafing the cut and to get that double and then just insane slick so big on the slick there so he got less slick but did more distance. Another Ash map, Shop Smart. This one is like quality of XDWC maps, honestly. Um, as are quite a lot of Ash's longer maps. Um, and the only reason the shorter ones aren't are because they're short. <laughs> but this is just absolutely mad. Th this map is really, really difficult. Like this makes it look easy. But the spacing on these sections is so difficult and the places that you can just lose speed. You can come through here and hit your head immediately. You can lose speed here. 
gapping through this is so tight to not lose any speed and then ah oh, incredible spacing he only just makes it up there which is pretty par for the course i've got a fairly good time on that map but yeah it's it's a phenomenal run there another ash dew and another ash map on ash nectar I saw a few of these and just wanted to show off some bigger records and then we got some insane records come through after I'd already put these in the playlist ready for watching. But yeah, just type up a bit of a XDWC quality of map that we have because these records are very good. I mean, gap in this is just mad. It's just, just AD because you're going the right speed and hope that you make it that's beautiful that was taking it on a bit much but absolutely great record great great record and was that the end of hey okay Amino's done some funky editing so this one Amino has recorded because he didn't get it into last month the video got um, corrupted on Morrow's side on the server side, so Morrow's Torture 3 is from last month. Uh, Amino uploading it himself. So do sub to Amino. It's a phenomenal run though. You can't even see, like that's not the quality of the video, that's actually when you're playing. I've spectated the, I don't think this exact map, but definitely a Boris Torture and definitely these pixels. You can't see what you're looking at. And you just have to guess going into the finish. Absolutely incredible record. And on Boris Torture 4 similar sort of thing no one else is doing these maps like that that's the the main thing with these records is that they're being taken from players who aren't playing anymore or at least not very often people like Jaska uh, V's some malice records but these records are quite old in general Beautiful. Beautiful. And now a map by Amino. So these are the new maps for the month. Amino Loopy, which does have a pre-run that you can't see on this. Um, so we're now going to show off, I'm going to try to show off all the new maps every month. Um, yeah, just to show what's coming out, show what's being uploaded. Some maps are new, totally new, like this, which is a pure Xenotic map and phenomenal. And some maps are old but new to Xenotic. Kairos Dream Rocket, which I believe is a reasonably new map. I don't believe it's been around for a million years. But it's a mad surfing map. Which I've looked at a record in Quake 3. It looks... Uh, it looks easier in Xenotic. I think we have slightly easier surfing in some places. We stick to ramps a little bit better. Not well at all, but... A good record. Probably not going to be uh, instantly beaten. VP, one of our mappers for XDWC. Apparently this is what's called a shit map. So if this is a shit map... Can't wait for... Uh, can't wait for the full map. Be incredible. And another one with an amazing background. Uh, of course, AI. AI rainbow pony slop type stuff, but the map's definitely not AI. It's a great map. Some ri that's got to be a really difficult cut to make. But there we go. Good record. 
Again, not the sort of thing that's going to get instantly broken, you know? Mui. Mui has returned from wherever he's been to smash out some vibrant balls. Just clean. Just clean. Classic Mui. Hex Climb is next up. This is still a new map, Amino. Amino recommending half of these, uh, especially the HP maps. Oh, we've got a cutter. Or I think this is a go whichever way you like kind of map, to be honest. I don't think this has too much of an order. Oh, that was, that was really nice. Very smooth around that corner. And a quality record. It's quite cool seeing that there's only one record per. Um, so that was all of the new maps. It was all the new maps. And now we're back onto the old ones. And just rolling down the regular records. So, starting off with Climb World Jungle from Vert. This was uh, before Banano said he was going to start doing Climb World. So we're not sure if Vert's going to go for it. He hasn't pushed it yet, but could be interesting if Vert and Banano both start going for Climb World because Vert is very good at these type of maps, especially pillar type stuff like this. Just so smooth in a box. Absolutely cracking record. There's going to be a lot of generic strafes now. But, yeah, it's been pretty good. Pretty good month, really, from what I've seen of the records, from the names of the maps. It's been some good maps. Good maps. And it's good to see a lot of, uh, a lot of players before XGWC. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how many get set this month because last year October had barely anybody setting records because XDW. How does he stick here? I can never stick all the way down that. That's insane from Goblin that he's sticking. Normally I just get pinged uh, and I'm going a lot slower than he is. But yeah, so uh, last year XWC started quite early in October, I think in the first end of the first week this year it's starting on the 20th of October so we've got a good chunk of October so it'd be interesting to see if people push through I know that November is generally quiet because people are burned out having around five weeks and half of November being taken up uh, so November's probably going to be pretty dead this month oh, glad you prepared for it sorry I didn't like Mention it earlier, I was in the middle of the start of stream stuff. Now it's the chilled stuff. Now it's the like, not organised, doesn't matter. We're half an hour into the recording, or 25 minutes into the recording. No one's watching anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's like... There's, there's the early bit that I've got to do properly, and then the rest of it's just a podcast, basically. This is, this is podcast time. Unless anything interesting happens that I notice. But there's like a 50% chance that something interesting happens and I don't notice it. <laughs> so that's why I put all the, the good, put all the good stuff at the start. Because quite often, like, I, I know this record would be good to talk about if I got the old record and compared them. I could do that with any record pretty much as long as like it's a decent route change anything more than like 30 40 seconds but you just don't know whether it's worth talking about and I can't do it for every record 
So I kind of want to do it for, I mean, it'd be a bodge job still. Everything I do is a bodge job. I kind of want to do it for uh, Bananos Run. Just compare them. But they are so different in time that I can't, like, skip to seconds and see where people are. It had all of it, 43 characters. Oh shit, so you're like right in. That is not good. I hope everything goes okay. Wind is. Honestly, wind's like the scariest of the. Uh, of the things to me. Because especially living in the UK where. We've had one uh, one hurricane ever, and it was 20 years before I was born. Oh, this is ridiculous map. But that's the thing, wind brings the water. Like, we flood regularly here at the minute. We've had some crap flooding not sort of minor display not the sort of her things of a hurricane not huge natural disaster but like oh shit my way to work is flooded sort of thing but we we get consistently in terms of consistent stuff because no matter what with some of these major natural disasters whether it's the, the mass flooding or the hurricane or both come at the same time you know they're so huge that they are you know what whatever <laughs> but there's nothing you can do Wa water will destroy nigh on anything but wind does it quicker wind it's like you were either built for it or you are not built for it Water, it will destroy everything eventually. There's a lot of Halo CE inspired stuff. Um, 2005 to 2008 was the big era of Defrag, uh, where a lot of these maps were made. So there's a lot of Halo inspired stuff. And the building blocks that we... that were kind of made as well. Uh, people don't tend to make texture packs so much anymore after so long. But it means that you, you go grab a texture pack and it's probably got a bunch of Halo type inspired texture. Really? Come on, cool. <laughs> Can't be just having cuts like that in your maps. Uh, anyway. But yeah. It's one of those things like, especially when it's minor stuff, the day-to-day -day sort of things that you have. Heavy rain, I can absolutely deal with. I put a coat on, if I get wet, I get wet, whatever. Wind, it's going to blow you over. It's going to launch something at you. Water comes slow as well, with enough time to prepare. Wind, you sort of just wake up and it's there. Yeah, I get the same. I get the same. It, It's insane. I... This map's trippy as balls, by the way. <laughs> this is not a glitch. I don't understand what the fuck they thought was a good idea putting this on. But, yeah. Yeah, I don't weigh a lot. And especially when I'm riding my bike. You go... There's a lot of places where I live. You're riding down a country road. And there's a thick hedge on the side of you. But then suddenly that thick hedge stops either for a gate to get into a field or just there's a dead bit or the dr guy driving the tractor who was cutting the hedge last sneezed and he chopped a big old ho hole. The country road does indeed take me home. But the place where I belong is not West Virginia. It is the dirt paths so I live right on the edge of the suburbs. Um, 
so I take a country road out to the proper countryside or I can just head down farm tracks and be happy. Although West Virginia's got some pretty good farm tracks, but it hasn't got it's got big farm tracks and it's like that's great for racing, but I'm on my own. I don't care. The track being one wide or ten wide doesn't matter to me. Leatherborough. Do you mean Loughborough? <laughs> there probably is a Leatherborough, but... Loughborough's the... No one can spell it. One. Laufbrauf. Lugabaruga. That's my favourite. Lubru. Confusing the shit out of people. This map's so good. Uh, yeah, confusing the shit out of people by calling Loughborough Lugabruga. I think we're into this month by now, actually, I'm in the wrong place. Uh, no. Oh shit, we're only just in it. Lick pads. That was such a nice ending. It's so easy to lose a ton of speed on those side things. Because they're steep and if you hit them front on, uh, you'll lose speed. So you can think you're going sideways, but you actually hit them front on and lose all your speed. So, very nice there. Let's see another super nice map. I love the styling on these maps. These are my favourite. This map's weird. There you go. R7 Tomb. That's a good map. This could have been a video, to be fair. Like at the start. Ver absolutely smashing it. It's been great to see these kind of longer records getting beaten from time to time. It's mad how smooth he does this. I... Somehow I don't understand still how people remember this stuff. But recently I've been learning the Quake run. And I was like, how the hell do you remember this whole like 15 minute run? And then all of a sudden I can do the first three maps, uh, three episodes. And I've just got to learn episode four now. Which it should be in my head. And I kind of... 
realised that actually I need to relate it to cycling. I remember a million routes in cycling. It just feels different because I like in cycling I link routes together. Leatherhead, that's uh, a dusk enemy. I think. Oh, insane skip. Absolutely mad. But this is so clean. Yeah, just take two random nouns, stick them together, there's probably a UK town called it. Especially if one of them is a body part. Like, so, head uh, means it's the top of. So it'll be north. Bottom means it's the south. Light balls almost certainly exists. I think Little Balls is a Pawn Star map as well. Yeah, London is new. Absolutely mad to remember which corner, like, plank to fall on. I do not... I recognise the name Gerudo Valley, but I do not... I don't believe I've played the game that it's from. This bit's so insane. You, ha you can't go above. If you fall onto the top, you die and get, well, get reset. Ah, Zelda, that's why. Yeah, I've never played a Zelda. Never played a Zelda. I've watched plenty of speedrun things of Zelda, but never played it. You caught a stream banana, but do you know what you missed? You missed the review of your own uh, world record. You instead get to watch Furt. I'm so sorry. Good run, though. Very clean. Very clean. For a five and a half minute run, like... Ooh clean. And we're back on generic strafe. There's a lot of generic strafe to go around. Yeah, yeah, I, I just need to... Uh, just need to put the run in on the actual server, you know. Uh, I've beaten it a couple of times offline and all that. Yeah, uh, uh, of course. 
I love it when cool gets a record on a cool map. It's cool. No, I'm not going. I'm not gonna. I want to do climb world, not world record, but I want to finish it. Um. I know I said I'd do that before. Every time this right, just to completely sidetrack, Katarina. Every time this map comes up, I'm like, who's this new Katarina player? I didn't see them in the in the list of players, <laughs> in the list of record holders. I don't know why it's always map name then player name. I get like thousands, nearly ten thousand records have probably watched at this point. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I want to do Clone Mode. I did say I'd do it before XCWC. And I never did. But I also have more of a project in... I, I want to do Quake before XCWC, which is getting very close, actually. It's, it's 12 days. I should probably crack on with that Quake thing. Um, ooh, Knight. Holy shit. Knight on a, like... Mad Lad map. That... This is insane. Wow. Yeah. This is beautiful. This is why we love night. That was beautiful. But yeah, um I this these maps fuck me up by the way. I'm completely going off topic again. Cracking. These uh, defrag maps, defrag versions of Counter Strike maps, and defrag versions of Quake Pew Pew maps, they fuck me up because they are almost always not the one that I have played. So, Train, this is the. Uh, this is the 1.6 version. I have played Source, I have played CS, uh, CSGO versions of train so this one looks a bit weird I think I've finished this map I think I managed to finish it. this map's hard for a relaxed running map especially anyway yeah so I want to do Quake because I've got episode 3 down now not consistently but I can finish it um, like, I know, I know the route, it's just not dying. It's just the managing to not die. Especially on the, the last map is so difficult. Somehow I beat it on my first attempt. And was like, oh, it's a piece of piss. Yeah, you just, you know, you just do that. And, uh, you know, I know the route and it's fine. No, I'm dying so often. Because I'm not getting to the end with enough health to rocket jump into the finish. Which then fucks me up because then I've got to wait. And then I'm getting shot by everything. And there's like five vores and you can't even kill them. It's brutal. This map's pretty cool. There's some cuts you can do. Uh, I'm surprised Malice doesn't do a cut right at the start, but potentially this is an early record. Yeah, this is definitely an early record because you can double cut that S bend. Which I doubt it's not fast. It's got to be faster, surely. Surprised Lundra didn't take this one. She's very close to Lundra taking it, and as you can see, still quite far in, in front. But there's no, you die if you fall off the side. So Malice doing a safe run, pretty much probably why. This might have been RR and then nobody went back to it for 24 hours, potentially. Might have been the thing. So this was set in like 20, 30 minutes. But yeah, I'd like, I'd like to get Quake done before XCWC. And then I can be satisfied, play XCWC. And see what I'm doing after. Then, yeah. Because Momentum Mod 010 is coming soon. And I know when that comes out, I want to start learning all of the other non defrag modes. And one of the things I want to do in 010 is beat all of the 
010 uploaded maps uh, tier 1 of every insane pre-run um, I don't think I've seen that pre-run before you know nutty pre-run though anyway yeah mm. Ugh. I want to try and beat all of the uh, tier ones of everything like defrag piece of piss obviously because um, tier one means walkable basically in defrag uh, same as b-hop probably be pretty easy surf I should be able to do because I have played surf a bit and I can beat T ones within reason you know there's some slightly difficult things and I'm sure there'll be difficult T ones you know that could be argued to be T two or whatever but it'll be fine uh. especially because apparently the people were talking about it with can't remember what might have been stuff but it was a t1 as a t2 with stages was effectively what they said like if you removed the stages and the ability to check basically checkpoint restart uh any tier one becomes a tier two if you've got to do it all back to back to back this is a cooked map congratulations well Like, this is so difficult. And again, another Ash map that could definitely be uh, XWC quality. Like, you'd play this. It's insane. Ash maps are incredible. Big up to Ash. Can't wait for the Ash map this year. I believe it's third map, which is good. Yeah, like, Ash maps are amazing. They flow so annoyingly badly. It's one of the things, like, there's so many Ash maps, they flow. When you get them, they feel so good. But when you're off, you will just die. And it annoys me because it means you have to do things properly. You can't kind of half ass and give it another go and be a bit busted. But while still not having something like a pads map where the time gaps are very small. Oh, we can skip this. We saw this at the start. And this. Cool. Yeah. It's... And it, the other thing is, it's not like you can't... It means that you have to do such a pro route or something daft. Um, that's that's not the problem. Because that's not, that's not a thing with Ashes maps. You can do it perfectly fine. It's... Um, it's that you have to take your route and commit to it. And if you don't... And there will be a route where you can do non-committally. But you won't go very fast on it. You won't push your, your own barriers. So you have to push. Which is cool. Fucking heat stroke. That sucks. Oh, this map's bloody bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> At least it's not an epilepsy hazard anymore. This map's a bit rate warning, though. So apologies to everybody. Um, Twitch people who are watching live, congratulations. You have actually got better quality than YouTube on this map because YouTube compresses the hell out of these things. It's not great, but it works. It'll be hilarious if there's a... That's an insane cut, what the fuck? Malice had this record for a while. I don't know what the record is at the minute. But um, let's actually have a look. So. Looks. 
bug A3. So I believe Malice should be in second. Yeah, Malice is in second five months ago. Where did... Yeah, Malice took the record and then reset it. And then a year ago. And you, Yeah, so Malice basically took the record off Akamali uh, about a year and a half ago. Or two years ago nearly. December 31st, 2022, Malice took it. And then it's been slowly knocking the time down ever since. Every few months. Um, so I know I've seen this map a few times. Ver absolutely mad. So if you're playing the game, you can make the textures flat, um, like blur. So there's a command called PicMip. I can't remember what it stands for. But it blurs textures. So you would just have... a kind of a mustard yellow wall and a grey floor and it would be fine you'd be able to do that you can do that for the recordings as well because they are just screen recordings of the game obviously um, but this is all automated so it doesn't and I can't obviously do that in post off of a YouTube video so yeah we have to sit through some absolute bullshit but most of the time if you're playing this you will just set the thing it also isn't too bad if you've got a 144 hertz screen when you're watching it with bitrate crushing and 30 fps it's a lot worse but i'm watching it at 60 and it's fine and i know from some of these maps that are brutal even on 60 hertz or 60 fps that they're fine when i play them in 144 when i'm actually playing the game so it's it's not as bad as it looks why someone would play it if you mean the actual physical playing of the map uh you're not watching at 60 because i'm only streaming at 30. apologies i can't stream at 60 without it being ass and doubling the file size obviously but it it just it means the quality goes down and i've kind of looked into it and decided yeah, monitor's 60, but if I'm only streaming at 30. Like, my monitor's 144. And, but these are recorded at 60. If you want to watch them at 60, you can go to Morosophos YouTube channel. Uh, if you type in Morosophos on. M-O-R-O-S-O-P-H-O-S-X-O-N. Into YouTube. Or just an Otic World Record. It'll come up. Why would someone make it? Because it's very easy to go into the map editor, make the whole th oops, sorry, punch the mic, make the whole thing out of grey boxes and design the map. It may be even in this sort of way, where the floor is yellow and the walls are um, the walls are grey. You could do this, and then you can go into the editor, select press a button to select every wall. And change the texture on it and press a button to select every floor and change the texture of it orange floor look i'm stupid i have precisely about three brain cells and all of them are in use holding uh, it's potentially to troll, it's potentially just because that's what it was done. I mean, Bug83 was probably released... <sighs> Actually, uh... We'll spawn q 3 dive That's not gonna work. That did work. I put way too many slashes in one place. When was this released? 2018! Okay, now it's trolling. <laughs> it was released in 2018. I was 100% ready to go. This map was released in 2007. We can give it a pass. It was 2007, right? But no, it was 2018. Sod it. No, you don't get a pass. Did he just... Oh, da 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 Right. Insane. Mid. Air. Banana, are you still here? 
Are you still here, good sir? What the fuck is going on there? Whoop. Watch. So he shoots mid-air. Mid-air detonation of cryolink of electro balls. And again! Like I get this, shooting him off the wall. That's fine. And I understand the whole weird weird checkpoints, it's a Kota map. But that's insane. Like that's more cooked than half the stuff that Kota does intentionally, because I doubt he did there's no way that he did that intentionally, Kota. He just put that in because he likes to put in the Xenotic specific weapons. Um and yeah, big props for putting that in intentionally, because that's cool. The fact that you can detonate those in midair though makes me want to go into clan arena and troll. Oh what a start. I did not know you could do that. Fair play. I don't like this map. I got very confused because you can run through the uh, grass things and I used to go straight on there and then be confused and yeah. I, as I said, I've got uh, half a brain cell. It's hopping up and down. Rocket. I used to go through that one as well and then come through there and then try to make this guy confused as hell. I'm not very smart. This map looks sick. Oh, this is the Ash, Ash Nectar map. Uh, Ash Nectar map. No, there is not a Wii Sports map. Woohoo, there is not a Maka Woohoo map. There is a Bowser Castle map. Unless we actually had the Bowser Castle map. But there is straight up like uh, BC64. If you, I'm pretty sure you were just talking about that map sucks. You can hit all of those edge things and you always do. I bet that that was like the 800th run. Straight on slick. Absolutely insane. Don't understand the guy. He's an absolute magician. Like, Does he use turnbines? Nah. Not there at least. No, I don't think he's using turbines. It was just fucking smooth around a really long corner, but I think he's just got a high, uh, low sensitivity, massive mouse pad. He must have an enormous mouse pad, or be playing Russian on a desk pad. Because I've got a desk pad, and it's. Admittedly, I do have a massive keyboard. Like, it's even bigger than a. Um. It's big for a full-size keyboard. But I can't do that shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's this map. Oh, G Goblin was so confused when he was... Or was it Source? One of the two. They were so confused about this map. Wait, what? That's a new route. 
That is a new route compared to what we normally do smashing into a tree. But one of them was so confused playing this map. Oh, I like this map. It's just smooth when you get it. When you get it through because you jump just on the edge of this. And then round here and then boom. It's a difficult map, but it's smooth. It's so nice. Massive improvement though, 0.09. It's a huge improvement on that map. Ashtu's been cooking. Ashtu's been cooking recently. I think he could go really well at XDWC, depending on the type of maps. Because, like, this sort of super cool strafe type stuff and really precise landings and very precise turning. If there's a couple of maps like that, he could go very well. Very, very well. I'm surprised we see that. That had a longer than usual thing. Riffo, as usual, coming in, stealing roots. Nicely done, though. The one weird thing about Kota's maps, they are built for Xenotic, but Xenotic kills you after you finish the map. Quake 3 doesn't kill you after you finish a map, so you can do laps and have flying starts. Oh, it's the trauma map. Um, RDK8, don't like it. Uh, got banned while playing it. Um, oh shit, Mario Kebab. I haven't seen a Mirio map in ages and wouldn't have expected Gob to be on a map like this. I love how Mirio fucked that up so badly. E easy route, hard. <laughs> easy route. Yeah, easy route, slow, hard route, fast. And yet the easy route is faster because it's not such a aggressive bump. It's like, surely Mario would have known that. That you just do the double jump anyway. And it is harder than the technical easy route that was planned though. So, maybe. Well, this is a long map. Especially for a porn star, they're normally a few seconds. Nicely done. Triple stack, very nicely set. They need to arrest strafe bit for this map, I think. This is a really cool map so far, actually. I'm sure I've seen it before. But... I can't remember where it goes. I haven't seen it enough before. Yeah, classic Riffo. Classic Xenotic, slick. It goes up, so you have to... Uh, not slick. It's one of those you have to slow yourself down with those rockets that change your speed uh, like horizontally you want to slow yourself down so that it's easier to move sideways get out of the way of things oh this is the super difficult map oh no it's not oh yeah no this isn't super difficult it's possible to soft lock yourself there I remember now so you can soft lock yourself there because if you poke you just tip your head out but don't quite get your feet over you'll have all the weapons taken off of you but you won't um and you'll get you know but you won't get up
which would suck because if you're doing this map as like this is a trial map for you which it would be for me because i suck um but this would be just a difficult map to finish in the first place for me that would suck so hard That was clean. That's got to be a really... You, you're probably supposed to ground boost there. Quake 3, you'd ground boost in that corner. That's cool. This is a ridiculous map. I'm surprised we're still getting world records. And the fact that we're getting world records with a plus 0.2 that goes to a minus O2. You know? Here we go, speedy getting beaten. Just like 25 seconds off the record here. There we go. That's the start of some of the cuts. There are checkpoints around, so you can't do too many insane cuts. Um, but there's some pretty, pretty good cuts you can do. Like that one. It's pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Very, very nice. Very nicely done. Ah, yeah. So there, you jump off the edge, you get stuck, and then to release, uh, I think you either crouch or jump, can't remember. One of the two. And then you just get shot out at speed. So you're just strafing in place. Very buggy start, very strange. Very annoying, but at the same time, it's not as bad as most pre-runs because it's difficult to fuck it up compared to pre-runs that are actually, like, skill-based. You just strafe until you hit the speed that you want. You figure out what speed you want for the route that you want to take into the first quarter and you go, like, right, I want 1,800 ups. And you do it. Let's see if Goblin can get any uh, slick out of... He's insane! So far, I've like nobody's been able to get slick very much on this map. Those green pads are slick, so you can get insane speed. Goblin getting two wiggles on the tiny strip in the center earlier. Insane. I'm pretty sure people have... Oh, and he's got that one as well. He's a madman. Like... If it wasn't for the fact that we never know how good Dizzy's going to be when he comes into X to WC, because he just doesn't play. Um, who's betting against Goblin right now? You know, defending champion, comes in as an Arctic last year having never played it, smashes it up. This year he's played properly. He's second overall as we watch this. I don't know, I haven't checked uh, whether he's managed to take over or not yet. But he's... He's the champion. He's an Otic champion. It's insane. Alright, see you later, Looney. Sorry about the super fast textures. They are not great, especially if you've got a headache. Oof. It's going to be a long gap before the next uh, episode of this. Because XCWC. 
HWC finishes late November, so I'm probably not even going to get around to doing this until December, maybe. Doing uh, October's review till December. We'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. I might just pull it out one day during XTWC. Get pissed off and come stream this. This map's insane. Super nice. Super nice. He's insane! Let's have a quick cheeky check of the rating. See if Goblin has pushed it up, because I know Source has been playing. Okay, so in the last seven days they've both gained as much as each other. Which is since the photo was taken. So no change, but they're both gaining points. It could happen. It could happen. I've just got to remember to take my pictures and set the things up during XWC. Even if I don't record it, I have to on the first of the month. Definitely take the pictures. Getting the playlist setups less of an issue because they're still there but the picture I, like I can't way back machine or anything that website just doesn't exist so I just have to remember on the first of the month to set everything up but it's fine Here you are, Banano. Here's your record. You'll have to watch it back later. But we went through it. Then we went back through to like this bit where you said it was really difficult. Went back through all the bits that you said were difficult. Checked them out super closely. And went, wow, he's a fucking legend. Um, basically. That's, that's the level of my commentary on that. Is effectively, wow, a fucking legend. Um, can't wait to see R7 Climb World when it happens. Let's just watch the final purple. Starts at like seven minutes now. This bit's just beautiful. It's the fact that it has to be strafe, like you can't wall strafe it because the walls are slowly closing in. Oh no. Wait, what do you mean your hands are tied? You just mean you've got like real life shit or... Are you injured? <laughs> I kind of see a lot of things getting backburnered. Like I, I can entirely imagine. Um, I can entirely imagine Goblin not become. Did he just get eight eight eight? God damn it! Such a good time. 
Um, I can entirely imagine Goblin not getting champion. Like a hundred percent can imagine Goblin not getting the champion. What the fuck do we even call? I guess you gotta call him Grand Champion or something. I get to come up with a name for this. Fuck it. Because it can't be World Champion, because Goblin is the World Champion, because that comes from the Xenotic World Championships. But, what about the... What does... Um... Former number ones. Good champion. They call it world champion in Mario Kart, but we don't. They don't have a proper world championship. Yeah, I think you're just the, the champion, I guess. Beautiful. The, this map's so, going to be so difficult to optimise. It's like they're landing on the last pixels of the down ramps. You know? I think. The, what point does that just become impossible? Cool has had a name change. Now Wally West. Perfect music, in time with the beat. Let's go. <laughs> it's insane when the music lines up so perfectly. It's like boom, 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 boom. Chasm. Warp zone glitch. Nice. Oh, and same map immediately beaten. Very nice. That proves my point to Vert, actually, that uh, maps can be uploaded if they're beaten.
Oh, no. Okay, never mind. You didn't hear that. Very clean. Exactly one second PB. Hazy Cannot wait. This is the source mode I think I'm going to enjoy the most. As long as I don't have to do too much wiggling and like head breaking. Oh, this map will be good. This has had some good, uh, good runs on it. Keep it super close to the wall. You just clip past that rock. Step up on that. And get the down ramp, which is absolutely mad. It wasn't long ago, probably six months ago. We we're playing that map and Vert was saying that it's uh, it's impossible to hit that. Here's Goblin in his home environment on Slick though. Get the down ramp because they even exist on Slick. Perfect up. Fling it off of here and just squeeze through the railings. Because all those railings are solid but there is a one, uh, one player wide gap. Just beautiful the way he slicks then he'll hit that get the ramp mouse in the perfect position off he goes absolute chaos Oh, this map. Wait, how did this map get on here? Sure, I look for this map. I nearly got world record before Mui came in and absolutely smashed me on this map. Very sad. But it is a very strange but very fun map. Oh, what an end. Absolutely amazing end. And you can see a huge improvement. That was just constant. The end was so difficult to get a good end on. This map was the nuts. I tried doing it well. But Goblin just absolutely decimated. I was I was within a second and then two minutes later Goblin went and set an absolutely nutty record and took like half a second off the record. Oh damn, did not know Gob got this one. This one you gotta be so precise to get no loss of speed and somehow get a gain in speed there. Then just, I mean, look how smooth the mouse movements are there. It's, it's, yeah. It's so good. So good. Mui's run here, an absolutely phenomenal run as well. Cutting the lines close. You've got to get so close to walls on this. And then it's the biggest jump across the gap that you can possibly make and then oh, just how does he not lose speed turning that corner that's just beautiful mouse movement beautiful idea absolutely crazy if 
Frosty smack you one out on the good quip grass. Interesting, no, uh, no first downhill there, but I guess he's worked out the spacing a bit better. That's beautiful. That corner, I don't think I've seen a clean corner taken there from when we've had records here before. And then just straight through the corner. A little turn into the finish. Another map, just about getting as close to walls as possible. Just so good. And that that's insane. Just a little wall tap. Not much speed lost. <laughs> Apologies. Apologies, gentlemen. How have all shit map? How have all ground boost? Lovely one from Goblin there. Oh, what? So just jump three, uh, Banano. I just had a random thought. I'm going to look this up on um, on Defrag. Quake 3. It has three CPM records, with the fastest time being an 8.07. So you have the official fastest time. But also, it has way more VQ3 records. The one... The 14 VQ3 records. So yeah, an 807, which I think is faster than... Uh, slash map, just jump three. So yeah, Banano didn't Banano didn't beat it, but you did. It was an 8... Banano's was 810. Whereas theirs was 87. There's the Quake 3. Map. But it's weird that there's more VQ3, so that indicates to me that it was potentially spaced for V. In fact, does it say? Oh no, it says map physics all. Potentially it's spaced for VQ3. That's so clear! That's really well done. Can't argue with that. Super nice. Oh, and we're out. We're out of videos. Super nice end there from Cool. I know, Reg. Out of videos. Can't believe it. The dog's going mad. He's like, why is it, where is there more world records? I want to see more world records. Even though about two minutes into the stream, he fucked off out my room. He was sat, sat happily on my bed till I started talking. He was like, no, I'm not listening to you, you bastard. Anyway. <laughs> XDWC, if you've made it this far, come on, you've got to play the game. XDF.gg, XDWC.XDF.gg, links are all in the description to a bunch of stuff. Thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you in a while, uh, if you're only here for the world records, if for some reason you're only here for the world records and you don't care about XDWC, it's going to be a while till the next one, because XDWC is happening. If you do care about XDWC, then XDWC is happening, and I will see you in XDWC. I will see you on the server. I will see you everywhere. Thank you very much. There's a special thing happening in the next month one. Some people know what it is. But yeah, it's been a fantastic month. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all those players on the screen, all these guys. 
all the records that were set. Phenomenal. I will see you next month.